years, that was 12 long years, <laughs> and when me and my brother were uh, talking one night, and uh, he likes that song, The Big Ten Inch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he was like, well, Oh, The Big Ten Inch, cool. <laughs> Got to adjust my tie, cool, The Big Ten Inch. <laughs> Twelve long. Twelve long years. The 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 big the big ten. What the hell is the big ten inch? Oh, don't ask. Oh my God. I don't know that song. Who knows that song? I don't know that song. I don't know. I think I'm allergic to your boobs because every time I'm around them, my penis swells up. Goo! That old thing. I don't know. I don't know the big. <laughs> well, so 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 well, twelve so twelve long. Yeah, that song came on the radio. Me and my brother were hanging out, and, and that song ten inch, uh, <laughs> whatever. I didn't think it did it. <laughs> and he was like, "Name the album twelve long." I said, "Okay, that'll work." So that's why we named it that. Bang. Bang. <laughs> boom, bang, boom. <laughs> that's awesome. Shotguns. Forty-five Air's minutes. Air is meat. Air is meat is the one that sings that song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Now y'all see. Okay. Now, going on. now Adriana, you you were you were telling me about your soccer watching schedule earlier. My God, there's a lot of soccer on TV. It is. It's the best sport <laughs> oh in the world. My God. <laughs> Just right there with tennis. Tennis is a great sport. What? Why is soccer like? the best sport in the world for you i don't know because <laughs> he's cool because i'm like since I was a because kid. you've got you've <laughs> got explain to me the concept of soccer because i am i am jiggy jag the ugly american i don't i don't know well anything the United States has their i understand their own league too the they've MLS, got major league, major soccer. league soccer major league soccer and you have actually and I think players there's a, in it. I think there's a team in Kansas City. Yeah, there's uh, Sporting, Kansas City Sporting. Now, okay, the concept of soccer to me, I'm lost on that because it's a ball and they kick it down a field and the matches go for, God, how long is a match? How long is a soccer it's, uh, match? Two, it's uh, 90 minutes, Jesus 45 Christ. minutes each. Uh, half and um, uh, well, basically, because you have to make goalies, goals in the goalie. The only thing I know about the the only things I know about soccer is Pele from Brazil, Carlos. Oh, well, yeah, he was a yeah. He Carlos is. Valderrama from Colombia. Uh huh. El pibe. Um. El pibe Valderrama. Let's see. Uh, there used to be a guy, I think he played for some team in Europe, Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes. And, uh, of course, Beckham. David yeah, Beckham. Beckham that now is playing for the LA Galaxy here in the United States for the MLS. Okay. And then there's, uh, the World Cup. Super, they, yeah, that's a super event. Of that, the they had in, that they had in, uh, Brazil. Just fairly recently. Yeah, yeah the, the last edition was in The Brazil. last one was in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Now, explain to me this soccer schedule, because I was I was sitting here, and you were like, well, this is on Thursday. <laughs> we well, I really Friday. don't know exactly, like, but the point is that is all week is all busy, these... because... He watches a lot of TV. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the TV was my babysitter when I was a kid. <laughs> She's one of them boob-tube children. Uh, boob-tube children. Exactly. <laughs> That's why my brain is full of information. Garbage, so, but information. So so with so with soccer, there there is there is the there's the American League, which is the major league that soccer. Is that the major league soccer that is from United States that start this it just start this Friday. And then you have the Champions League that is going on in Europe between the Masters of the Masters of Soccer, which is the Manchester United. Manchester United, United yes. Uh, FCB, whatever. And then you have the Mexican League that is going on right now. Okay, now what is the is is that for all of Mexico? All of Mexico, yeah. Okay, so so the professionals. 
Every once in a while, when I turn on like Univision or Televisa Deportes or, or one of these Spanish language channels, they have like three or four different soccer leagues. No, it's am not, I getting confused no, here? You're what the hell is going because on? Because we here? only have one. <laughs> it's just like here is the MLS in Mexico is the MX league, and okay. that is only for people. All, I mean, for the teams that are like. The, the 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 super pro teams and then you okay. have a second division of it that is the ones who are beneath those teams which are trying to get to the first division and they play matches too and actually it's kind of cool too because i mean you're they are fighting for a place in the first division but um but it's only one league it's just like what professional league okay in mexico <laughs> I, I guess. Guess. I'm just trying to figure out. I love soccer. The whole thing was soccer. Now, what what is the allure to soccer? The what? The allure to it. Why do you watch it? Because like like I can see. I don't know. It's super we, we both we both like professional wrestling, lucha libre. We, yeah, I get I know. that. I just don't understand soccer. It's super exciting. I don't know. I they like kick it. The a way, ball down no, the field. No, but the way they <laughs> kick the the way they kick the ball, the way they play, the way they make the plays in that moment. Because for example, okay, football. <laughs> football. <laughs> there you go. Bouncing the ball is illegal. Well, it's like football, like American football. It's like I don't, you know, under yeah, I don't understand there, American football. It's like okay, either. you're gonna do this. What? <laughs> you're, you're gonna Go do this ahead. and this and that and and you in, in in soccer you don't have that you have to use your imagination and your brain to make the plays in that moment that is happening you don't have a little board that says oh you're gonna go here there and everywhere i mean soccer i don't know i think Soccer has the magic. I don't know. It's kind of like, I guess, asking why you like NASCAR, because all they do is drive a car around. See, I don't understand the left turn circuit either. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I don't understand NASCAR yeah, either. Football and, and NASCAR. NASCAR, football, and soccer. <laughs> don't get it. Yeah. NASCAR. I can even handle some boxing. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So we can get into boxing, too, uh, because you've got, you've got... Canelo. I yes. don't know when he's going to fight the Canelo. I don't know. Uh, we have what? You used it to have... going to be the... Um, uh, this fight between Mike Weather and... Pacquiao. Pacquiao. There's the big one there. That one is going to be a good one. May 2nd, I think, is what it is. Pacquiao. The Mexican eater. <laughs> The Mexican eater. That's, that's the one. Oh my name God! It, though, nobody. Now, what is what is the allure to this Canelo character? I don't know. I people love the hell out of him, and you know, I didn't know has, anything about okay, him until he fought kind Floyd. Of, he's not bad looking. I mean, it's not my style, but he's not bad looking. <laughs> but what? <laughs> What? Is he a hubba bubba good looking? Is he a hubba bubba good looking? What is he, bubblegum? He's like Johnny Bravo good looking. Oh. <laughs> He's like Johnny Bravo He's good from looking. Guadalajara. Uh, he has charisma. He has technique, but I think he doesn't have enough, exper enough experience. Difference to other ones. And I think that time that he fought with uh, uh, Matt Weather... It was too much for him. Um, but I think if he continue go, I mean, if he keeps with that discipline, he's gonna make, he's gonna become to be one of the good ones in box. I mean, seriously, because Canelo has a charisma and you know has the groupies that are like, ah, oh, yeah, Canelo. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he can bring a lot of money. <laughs> That's for sure. One more thing I want to say about this bodybuilder is, well, I'm still stuck. <laughs> this bodybuilder okay, that we're hello. talking yeah. about. I, I'm having an Emma moment here. Just, I had an epiphany. An Emma moment? Yes, I have well, a, what is an Emma moment well, exactly? I have these epiphanies, <laughs> and I don't call them epiphanies. I call them epiphanies because I actually have them. An Emma moment. Yeah, I have that them. That is awesome. And I got one. And so I want to tell you, I also have noticed that all of those muscle-bound guys that like to work out all the time, Anytime you look at like their Facebook posts, it's always them and they're doing this. You know, trying yeah, to get and flex then... of those muscles and they're just, 
It's like, look the selfie of my, bice <laughs> my biceps. <laughs> All right, okay. And my twinkling smile. <laughs> Look at the selfie of my triceps. The selfie of my triceps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Look at the selfie of how thick my calves are. <laughs> Look at the selfie of how thick my calves are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so like, well, uh. Guys out there that lift weights, it really doesn't look all that bad. And we just, you know, we have to make fun of something today. So, you were it. <laughs> Nothing personal. Nothing personal. Well, not really. Don't take it. I'm not well, gonna go to the I'm not gonna go to the gym then because when I get there it's gonna be You are the one that was saying something about us. Yeah, well I don't go to the gym so you can just blame it on me and just say, Oh no, that was Emma, you know. Well yeah, I, because I really I'm so gonna be nice. after that for like an hour. <laughs> I know. That was just not right and I told her she mm. should have never said that. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We've got uh I know you guys have got to get out of here because you've got you, you, apparently you've got to go yell at some some phone people at Verizon, some other things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Top secret missions. Today. Top secret missions today. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see track number. Well, be careful about what you're saying here Let's because if not, you're gonna have the CIA right there out there. I know. Um, now I like think. It. I think this is going to be no more. Track number three. Okay, awesome. Uh, tell me about no more. Um, it's no more. About <laughs> Thank you, Adriana. Uh, that was very insightful. Go, Emma. Okay, no <laughs> She's like, no more. No more. No means I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> no, it's the opposite of yes. That's right. Um, you know, it's a song that is it kind of is designed to get out of situations in which they don't want to be in, you know, abusive relationships. That's cool. So it's kind of explaining that it's okay, you know. Yeah. You, you don't want no more. And you, you didn't, you can never trust them again. And, you know, don't turn the other cheek this time. That's cool. Yeah. Well, here we go. It's uh, no more. I hope I got the. No more. No more. No more. No more. <laughs>
We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll wrap it up with Emmalou and the Rednecks here on the World Famous Chicky Jaguar Experience. We've got a fantastic crowdfunding gig at Transmedia Worldwide. We want to talk about right now.